Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be re reviewing the Nanit baby monitor. This is the baby monitor that we have been using for the past seven months since my son has been born. So I'm going to give you guys a real life review. Um, I'm going to be completely honest on what we like, what we don't like, things like that. And just overall how it works. This monitor is one that um, is fairly new. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. And so I just wanted to kind of go over all of those features with you today. This is your first time I'm here. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Alisa. I make mom videos, lifestyle videos, day in the life vlogs, you name it. So be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video. But let's go ahead and jump on in. I just want to say this video is not sponsored at all. I just love this product. We use it. We bought it ourselves um, and I just wanted to give a review on it. So Okay, so when purchasing the Nanit baby monitor, you have a couple of different options on what to buy. You can get the wall mount, um, which is what we ended up buying. It was $2.99 and it connects to your wall and the camera attaches to it so you don't have to worry about um, cords, you don't have to worry about knocking it over, it stays in place, it doesn't move, and that's kind of why we wanted that mount. They also have a floor stand that you can get, which is a little more expensive, it's $3.79, um, and the floor stand is a little bit more mobile, you can move it around where you want it in the crib, um, but we just thought a wall mount was going to be easier for us. They also have what they call a multi-stand, and that is $49. We also purchased this. This is pretty much um, like a tripod, I would say, or a little stand for the camera. Um, and this is what we use whenever we travel, when we go see friends or family, because we can't take the wall mount with us, obviously. We take the multi-stand with us, um, and that way we can set up the camera wherever we are at. So this is what the camera looks like. It's really small, as you can tell. Super lightweight, very easy to travel with, again, which is why we like it. We travel a lot, and we wanna have a good quality baby monitor with us that is able to travel. So this is the camera. It's super small and it just plugs in at the bottom right here to the multi-stand and to the wall mount. You just snap it on and that's it. You don't have to worry about cables or cords or anything like that. Um, when you're connecting this to the wall mount, when you're connecting it to the multi-stand, you do have to plug in the multi-stand somewhere and then plug this into that to make sure that it is working. So this is what it looks like. The only button on here that you would need to use is this little Wi-Fi reset button. If for whatever, whatever reason you need to reset the Wi-Fi or relink your monitor to your phone, that is how you do it, this little button right here. So this is what the camera looks like. So talking about the setup a little bit more, like I said, um, we wanted a baby monitor that connected to our phones and that connected to Wi-Fi. And that is what this monitor does. It connects to Wi-Fi. So you just wanna make sure that it is connected to whatever Wi-Fi your phone is on. Um, and that way you can access the app and view the camera and things like that. It was super easy to pair. It was super easy to set up. We didn't have any issues and we haven't had any issues with it going out either. Either. Um, I know that is something that some people are concerned about, but us personally, we haven't had any issues with our Wi-Fi being out. Okay, so moving on next, I'm going to talk about the app for your phone. So this was one of the big reasons that we liked the Nana Baby Monitor was because it came with an app that you could use on your phone or on an iPad to monitor the baby. You didn't have to worry about a separate device that you have to worry about getting charged or making sure it has batteries or just keeping up with something extra. Babies have so much stuff that you have to keep up with as it is. Something else we didn't want to worry about was another monitor. So we like that we can install the app on our phone or on an iPad and monitor the baby that way. So I'm just going to open it up for you guys and kind of walk you through all the different features of the app. So when you open up the app, you have in the top left corner, these are just our settings for Eden. We can also add another camera as we have more kids one day. Coming back to the main screen, we have the notification bell up top, and this will notify us whenever there is any movement or sound detected throughout the night or throughout his nap. So we can just click on one of those, it'll load us and show us a little clip of what the movement or what the sound was that it detected, which is super nice if you notice that he got up in the middle of the night or something happened, you can go back and check to see what it was. So exiting out of our notifications, we have these three little dots in the top right. Um, this, so night mode, something I love and I keep my phone on at night mode all the time. And basically what it is, is it's a way for me to keep my phone and the app open at night while I'm trying to sleep. I can have the monitor running the whole night long, the camera on, but it's not going to be super bright on my phone screen. It'll dim my screen for me so that it's not this bright light next to my bed while I'm trying to sleep. So that is super nice that I can keep the camera going all night long, but it's not going to be 
is super bright on my screen. In addition to that, um, we can turn the camera off if we need to, and then we can rotate the video, just depending on how we have it set up or how he is sleeping, we can rotate it around. So this right here is the main screen next, and we can see the temperature, which I love. When he was a newborn, it was super important to know what the temperature was because I had no idea what was too hot or too cold for him, so I really like the temperature in there. It also has the humidity, which is really nice. We do run a humidifier for him at night because his skin is really dry, and it it's just nice to see if it is getting really dry in there or if it's getting too humid so we can adjust as needed. So with this, you can also expand it to make it the whole screen. And this is typically how I have it at night. So once Eden is in bed or once I'm going to sleep, I pull this up on my phone like this and I will leave this open all night long so that I can see him. Um, and it just gives me that peace of mind knowing that he is good. I can look at him at any time of the night and not have to worry about it. Um, I do keep my phone plugged in at night. That is one thing just to note that you can't run it all night long. It will drain your phone battery. So be sure to keep your phone plugged in or your iPad, whatever you're using to monitor. So in the full screen version, you have a couple little icons down here. The first one is a camera where you can take a little snapshot of the baby while he is sleeping. Both my husband and I have used that whenever the other is traveling and we can send each other pics. It also has this little music note. I love the fact that it has a built-in sound machine. That for us is huge when we travel. Like I said, when we go visit friends and family, we take the baby monitor with us um, and we have all these different sounds here that we do. We typically put it on with the wind noise and just have it running continuously. We can adjust the volume here as needed, turn it off and on really easily. So that is a super nice feature. The next little icon that we have is this microphone and it'll connect. You can hold it down and speak to the child while they are in bed. We don't use that right now just because I think it would confuse him more than anything. But once he gets older and he needs to really go to bed and he's staying up, we can use that to talk to him. The next thing that we have is this little speaker and that is just turning on the audio. So. I can turn it on, I can turn the background audio on, which will, means that when I close out of the app and access something different on my phone, like I'm on Instagram or Facebook or texting someone, I can still hear the audio from the nursery. So if he starts crying or something happens, I'll still be able to hear it, even though I'm using other apps on my phone. So that for us is huge. It also has a little light bulb here, which is a built-in night light. Again, really big, really great for us to have when we are traveling. So that is the full screen mode once you X out of that. And we have some more icons down here. This little lung is for the breathing wear, which I will talk about in just a little bit. But that is how you stop, start the monitoring for that. The next little icon here is his night. So it'll give you a preview of what his night was like. It tells you when he went to bed, different events throughout the night, when he woke up when he fell back asleep and um, if he had any visits from a caregiver so if mom and dad went in there to check on him which we did this night um, we can see that so we can see how he's sleeping if he's restless at night if there's something in the crib that's bothering him or something in his nursery that keeps waking him up we can see that here it also is really helpful to see when he wakes up <laughs> in the morning because sometimes he wakes up a lot earlier than we do um, so that's a great way it keeps track of that for us it also has his daytime tracking, so whenever he takes naps, it'll pop up here. So it'll show us um, when we put him down for a nap, when he wakes up for a nap, and that way we can keep track of how long he is sleeping, which is super handy. Down at the very bottom, we have the live screen. So this is just live in our nursery right now. We have the activity. So this will just show us different things throughout the week, when he fell asleep, when he woke up, um, at different days of the week so we can kind of compare what our month and what our week was like. We have the dashboard again which just kind of gives us an overview of his day. Um, so far today he spent 52 minutes in bed but only 34 of that was asleep so he's been having a trouble falling asleep lately and that is very evident here. It tells us the last time he woke up um, and just another summary of what his day has been like. And then in the inbox, I really love this. This gives us some helpful tips. So talking about um, introducing solids to eat in, pacifiers during bedtime, what bath time is like, all kinds of tips that aren't just sleep related, just in general, newborn baby care tips, which I really love. So all of that is here.
So the next thing that I'm going to talk about, um, I mentioned it when I was going over the app, but that is that the breathing wear that Nanette offers, this was huge for us. People talk about the outlet monitor and I know there's a couple other monitors that people use to monitor their baby's breathing and oxygen levels and things like that during nighttime. Nanette has something that monitors how your baby is breathing at night. And so basically, um, so it's called breathing wear. They have swaddles, sleep sacks, and bands that you can use. It basically uses an algorithm um, that tracks the breathing through the pattern that's on the breathe wear that they have to determine the rate that he is breathing, if breathing stops for any reason, and it'll notify you. Currently, he uses one of their little sleep sacks that he has right here since he's not being swaddled anymore. You just put him inside like a normal sleep sack. It zips up, and then this is the pattern. This pattern is what it uses to track his breathing so we can see his lungs moving in and out, the rate at which he's breathing. If for whatever reason something happens and he stops breathing, it'll send out a red alert, which is just what it sounds like, a really loud alarm um, to notify us right away that his breathing has stopped so we can go and check on him. We also got these bands for him when he was really little, but I will say we did not actually use these because you are not supposed to use these on top of a swaddle. Um, and when he was really little, we used a swaddle. We didn't use just these. Um, and then he outgrew them by the time he outgrew his swaddle. So we did buy these, but we haven't actually used these yet. But we do use a sleep sack every single night. Um, they are $35 and totally worth it. They just put me at such ease of mind at night when he is sleeping. I don't have to worry about his breathing if he's okay because I know that it is tracking that for me. Um, especially when he started sleeping on his stomach, that was really nerve wracking as a new mom to make sure that he was okay, that he could breathe. And sure enough, this monitor um, tracks all of that for us. So it really gives us the peace of mind. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is the insights that it provides. So I kind of went over it in the app, but it'll tell us um, how his sleep is doing, how much actual sleep he's getting at night, how often he wakes up when he's going down to bed, when he wakes up. And every week it'll kind of compile that information and send it to us in an email. It'll tell us um, if we need any tips like putting him down early, trying to stretch out those naps during the day, cutting the nap short, whatever it might be, depending on how he is sleeping at night. It'll send us tips and insights specific to him and his sleeping patterns that'll help him out and help us out by getting making sure that he gets the rest that he needs. So we really love that. They also have some sample sleep schedules um, that you can find online as well and through the app if you need some extra help or just some guidance on setting up with the schedule. They do have that, those resources available as well. I really just cannot say enough good things about this baby monitor. We really love it. It is a kind of a bit of an investment, but when you think about how often you actually use your baby monitor, you want to make sure that you have the best quality. Um, our camera itself, we've never had a blurry image. You can zoom in really up close to his face, to his body, to see him breathing, to see his little hands moving, and we really like that. It's great quality. It's great for travel and the fact that it has a built-in sound machine and a built-in nightlight. The fact that it is so easy and lightweight to um, travel with. It just connects to Wi-Fi. I have been able to access the camera on my phone if my phone is not connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, you just want to make sure that the camera is connected but I've been on just LTE and been able to access it while he is sleeping and have had no issues with that. So all around I definitely recommend the Nanit baby monitor. We have really enjoyed it. The breathing wear has never faulted us. We never had any red alarms go off that weren't uh, warranted. It went off once because I left the breathing wear in the crib and took the baby out but the monitoring was still going so it sent off a red alert because it wasn't detecting any motion because the baby left the crib and I mistakenly left the breathing wear inside of it so it sent off a red alarm but I've never had any false alarms or anything like that notify us so I've just been super thankful for the extra protection that it gives you and that ease and peace of mind knowing that your baby is breathing and that he is okay especially while you sleep so I love this Nanit baby monitor but that is all I have to say on the Nanit 
Bay monitor. If you use this monitor um, down below and you love it, let me know. If you have questions or anything specific about the monitor too, please leave it in the comments and I will be sure to answer you guys because there's so much um, that I could get into and I just don't want to make this a super crazy long video. If I didn't answer a question or you had something specific, please leave it in the comments below and I will be sure to answer it. Thanks again so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to catch new videos as they come out. And we will catch y'all next time. Bye.